Hi, Luigi Tramzana here from Craft Animations. I am going to show you the trailer add-on for Craft Director Studio. So I'm in Maya here first. I just want to point out a few things here. Now, this arrow, double arrow here, is important when you rig. And I will show the rigging in 3ds Max because it doesn't matter if you're in Maya, 3ds Max, for Cinema 4D, XSI, or any other system we ported to, Linux, Macintosh, it all looks the same and works the same, you see. This is for the Maya, and it has nothing to do with the Maya interface here. So, by having said that, we have two things that we we need to be aware of here. This line here must never change. So, when you rig the the um, trailer, this is the line. It's actually also the pivot of, of the whole carriage here, or the wagon. And uh, that is how you align the wheels to the wheels that you're using. That's the first thing you need to do. And this alignment is uh, very important. The second thing is the width here. Try to be careful with not making it too wide here because this simulation that this uses can be become unstable if you do. So keep the width of the wheels approximately the same. That's what you're aiming for when you're when you are um, rigging the whole thing. So let's jump into Max here again and uh, we'll rig this trailer here. So I open up the CraftRack Studio here and I create a trailer and uh, luckily it's created at the very bottom here which is also where it has to be because it must be underneath this four-wheeler because this one is the parent to this one you could say because this one is dependent on how the car is driving because it's a passive one therefore it has to be underneath it here in the simulation order and uh, <clears throat> if we have a look at the rigging process now we have created this object here and as I said we must keep this line exactly to the same line as the wheels are uh, on the carriage. So that's the important thing here. So the first thing I will do here is to align this carriage to the wheel here and uh, I will not move it in any other direction than the Y direction <coughs> because I want the wheels to be aligned here, the same line like that. And uh, these wheels have only centered their pivot so they have the pivot in the center of the rotation here so that's why I know and now that we have moved uh, the trailer in place like that then we need to regard the second thing here and that was to to uh, make it as wide as the the trailer we're using so uh, I would shrink it just a little bit there's so much you can uh, change afterwards anyway so it doesn't matter if, if it looks if, if it doesn't look exactly the same here and then I try to align it in the height direction also so the best you could do here is the same thing but now you move it only in the Z direction so that they are the the trailer here is actually uh, going through the axis of the wheels here that's that's the safest way to rig it and then I go into the wheels per se here and uh, I finally grab them see there a little there is one of them and uh, I align that one to this one like that pivot to pivot and now I move it in all directions because I want it to be in the center and then I scale it so that it fits it like that say okay it's approximately the right size then in the sign direction like so and I can now immediately here because I'm already at the wheel I'm skinning this wheel immediately that's how I usually rig everything because then you don't have to move the screen all the time so I take this high poly wheel and I skin it to the low poly wheel here like so uh, so that it's a child of it just link it straight on and then we have the second wheel there we have it and uh, we will move it to that one like that and then we scale it so that it's approximately the same size like that and then we grab this one and we link it make it a child of the bone well we should actually scale it sideways first Like that. Okay. Now we grab it and link it to it like that. Okay. And uh, 
next we can take the actual trailer and link it to attach it to the trailer bone like that and the next thing we need to do here we have two red things and red is a code for something that needs to be parented to something and have an effect so what I do here is to find this red towing hook mesh and I must put that one its pivot is the rotation point of the trailer so I know that one should be in the the um, ball bear ball here where where in the center of the ball where the rotation of of the hook actually occurs like that so I think that's good okay that's the ball here that is uh, the hook for this one and then I need to make it a child of this this uh, hook then like that I could uh, actually attach it to the car itself uh, attach it to that one like so that's enough so now this hook will follow this car meaning that this carriage will follow this car the last thing we need to do here and then we're finished rigging is to grab this gravity direction mesh and and uh, make it a child of the ground so that the simulator know what the ground is so I link it parented to this ground here and now we're actually ready with the whole rig here that's how fast it is to rig a trailer and uh, what we can do now is to hide the low polys like that the bone system and then open up here and choose a preset and let's say we choose caravan here for example and then just drive so I have my trailer here and we're ready to drive like that So that's how easy it is to create a trailer. And uh, now I will jump into Maya and just show you a few more things here. I have this trailer and uh, let's, and that's the 3ds Max version. And let's make a copy because I'm creating a, now I clone this one and uh, move it backwards. Because what I want to create here is a truck. So I create a four wheel extended and uh, put it in front of these like that actually uh, this is how the trailer will look like um, so you understand what I'm doing here I create a truck trailer and it looks something like this say like that yes yeah, something like that say okay so you understand what I'm, where I'm coming from here I need two trailers to do this and I would probably need some extra wheels here also which you can build yourself then now this hook uh, must follow this it must be in the very center of the, these wheels here so I actually align them with this align script that we have here and uh, select and shift select to understand this look at the four wheeler extended tutorial how to use that script and where to get it from so now this means that this will follow this trailer here and uh, I just attach uh, I make this a child of the the rear one here so now this follows this one and this follow this one now I want the first trailer to follow the truck so let's pretend that this is this is a truck that we have rigged here like that and uh, I take that hook and I put it where it belongs namely back here at the very rear part of the car or the truck like that where the trailer hooks into it and then now this is a very important thing here because let's let's actually animate this we need to make this a child of that truck first so I hit record here and look what happens now if the simulation order is wrong you see okay something obviously that did not wasn't a child of that one yet so like that now let's see what happens here yeah, you, it's not so very very pronounced this effect in here because it's just one frame delay so this is delayed one frame and this is delayed one frame from that one so it's two frames delay here so we need to put these in the correct order the first trailer is dependent on the truck and the second is dependent on the first so we need to actually have them in this order to simulate correctly without delays otherwise you will have trailers that are sort of with a rubber band connected with a rubber band and now I can drive the whole whole truck here like that so that's how easy it is to create an 18-wheeler okay thank you very much bye